Welcome to Brenco. The following video is intended as a guide for the setup and basic use of the 2,000 pound 4 drum puller trailer. This trailer is used to pull distribution conductors into place. First we will look at preparing the machine for towing. After your truck has been moved into position, lower the trailer onto the hitch by using the hand crank. A counterclockwise turn lowers the trailer and a clockwise turn raises it. After it is in place, secure the crank on the machine. Connect the trailer lights to the truck. And clip the safety chains to the frame of the truck. Crossing the chains under the hitch provides a basket catch in the event that your hitch were to be broken free. Lock the hitch into place with the safety pin. Next, attach the breakaway brake line to the pin. Be sure to raise your jack all the way up for road clearance. And you are now ready to hit the road. The height of the hitch can be adjusted by removing the side pins and raising up or down. The trailer should be as level as possible when being towed. The hitch can also be removed to deter theft. There are three grounding points on the puller, one at the front and one on each back corner of the machine. There are two leveling jacks to help stabilize the trailer when deployed. After lowering the jacks as close to the ground as possible, lower your front end using the crank. Once you get this done, you go around to the front. Under normal circumstances, the tires on the machine should not be raised off the ground. There are four lifting points, two on the back as well as two on either side. Next we'll look at pulling functions. For each reel that you will be pulling rope out, loosen the overspin brake to where the reel can spin without kicking back the rope. You want to make sure the reel brakes are unlocked in the up position as well so that the reel can freewheel. The level wand should be set in the rest position when pulling rope out so no rope gets caught or cut on the bar. When pulling rope in, move the level wind over to the side where the reel you are using is located. While all four reels can be pulled at the same time when winding rope up after the pull is completed, only one reel can be pulled in at a time when pulling conductors into place. Lay the rope into the groove of the level wind. Next, lock your reel brakes into place.
and completely release the overspin brakes. Next, let's go over the console. Here you will find the oil pressure gauge, temperature gauge, tachometer, and ignition. Below are the hydraulic pressure gauge, the pulling transmission lever, pressure control knob, engine throttle, and the hydraulic parking brake. When preparing for a pull, begin by engaging the hydraulic brake. If starting the machine cold, turn ignition to the heat function to warm the engine before starting. Begin the hydraulic pressure at around 800 pounds. Pull the transmission lever into gear and increase pressure to just under 3,000 pounds. It's very important to never exceed a pressure of 3,000 pounds. Once there, lower the pressure back to 800 pounds. Move the pulling lever into neutral and engage the throttle. Maintain the throttle at 3 quarters engine speed, which is the optimal speed for pulling, not full throttle. Unlock the hydraulic brake and begin line pull by moving the lever into reverse position. The further the lever is engaged, the greater the speed of the pull. Try to keep the pulling pressure as low as possible during the pull so that if any rope gets hung up or something goes wrong, the machine will stop the pull itself. Increase the hydraulic pressure as needed to continue pulling and aim to maintain that pressure until it is no longer sufficient to pull the wire in. While running, only apply the hydraulic brake after the pull has been stopped by moving the directional lever out of gear. Otherwise, you risk damaging the machine. For maintenance and repair info, as well as any other further information, please contact our team and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you for choosing Brenco.